Konnichiwa mina, boku wa Jeremy desu. Yoroshiku o onegai shimasu. Today is day 295. It is Wednesday, October the something, 22nd. <laughs> I should know what day it is. Terrible with, with days and stuff like that. Oh well, what can I say? So, today, um, I was completely oblivious to what was going on until I got to work and my grandmother called me of all things. And this is, anyway, I'll get to that in a second. Um, there was a terrorist attack on Canadian Parliament in Ottawa, allegedly. I'm not entirely sure what's going on still. Uh, and this is, fundamentally, this is the difference between Canada and the States in some ways, I guess. I remember when, when 2001 happened and the, the towers were taken down in New York and um, at, the, at the time, I know my mom was freaking out, like she woke us up and she's like, uh, oh my god, the terrorists were just just attacked the, the uh, uh, what do you call it, the, the towers, uh, I can't remember the name of the towers, Twin Towers, and uh, you're not going to school today, and blah 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 blah, and, and she's just freaking out. I mean, we live in Canada and <laughs> BC, and this was happening down in the States. I mean, it was, don't get me wrong, it was a life-changing thing for many people, and it's definitely dictated how security and stuff is now. But... At the same time, like, it's, uh, and now, this happens, not a lot of people actually realized it was happening, even though it was all, I guess, across CBC and stuff like that, but even on Facebook, there's nothing, nothing about it, B or versus what you, when something happens in the States and all the, the terrorist things and, and whatnot, and it's just, it's mind-boggling to me, and I don't mean to be laughing in terms of thinking it's all a joke, it's just, in some ways, it seems like it's a joke. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. Um, nothing really came of it, except the fact that there's going to, this is probably going to be our news for the next month or so. But at least there's something newsworthy. <laughs> I mean, like, yesterday I was going on about that woman bitching and complaining about costumes at Value Village, and that was like front page news and stuff, and now this happens. Like, there is something wrong with our our society when front page news is someone bitching about costumes, or a uh, not being allowed to wear a scarf thing in school, which was another thing that happened that made it into national headlines and stuff, even though it happened here in Kamloops. Ah. Uh. And then there's all this terrorist stuff, terrorist stuff going on. All these people attacking and and doing stupid shit. There's far worse things out there. Why can't people get along? There's Ebola happening in New York. Oh, not New York, Texas. Uh, Nigeria was just uh, con or concerned or what, considered. Sorry, not concerned. Considered Ebola free, which is fantastic. I mean, because that's a scary thing having a virus and stuff like that. And then someone goes and and shoots people and and tries to pull off all this stupid shit. It seems so childish and dumb when there's so many other things that are around, like AIDS and Ebola and things like that, that people should be uniting to fight against. Not each other. It's ridiculous. Oh my god, it really just highlights how stupid things can be. And I'm sorry if I seem a bit flabbergasted and really off from normal, but really? Like, think about it. Oh, god. And the other thing is just how people react, it's so different, like, it's so nonchalant here in Canada. Mind you, it wasn't as big of a scale of death and, and destruction as in, in the States. I'm not, um, not comparing that that way. But the fact that there was something that happened, and it's so undercovered, I guess, um, here compared to how, how it was in the States. I remember at the time we had satellite television and that's all the news talked about for, for and even, even now, years later, that's all that's really being talked about <coughs> is, is that sort of stuff. And that's another thing. Why is it okay to showcase violence on television? But God forbid anybody shows a breast or a penis or anything like that because the whole moral fabric of society will erupt and destroy itself, right? Right? Ugh. God, our society is fucked up in so many ways. I don't know, I just had to get that off my chest because really this whole situation is just unbelievable. Unbelievable to me. So I think that the guy that did it, as far as I understand, that went in, the one guy, 
was killed, I think. Um, he's a Canadian. Apparently his mother worked in the federal government offices somewhere. Um, I don't know much now, but I'm sure that in the coming years that this is covered, because it probably will be. Um, we'll find out more about him, because, you know, that's how the media likes to be. Oh, a story! <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, oh, God. I don't know. I really don't know. What do you guys think? Did you even hear about what happened? Like, Parliament Hill in Canada attacked and under siege, and not under siege, but they, they moved everybody out of there, and <sighs> what's this world coming to? Anyway, Jamatha Naimina, I will see you tomorrow. And just, yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs>